very good inhaler technique, uh, Cynthia, good for you. And using a spacer would certainly help, just like we discussed. Okay, mm -hmm. now um, with your uh, COPD, it's a good idea to get the flu shot annually and to get a pneumococcal vaccine at least once. Now, can I ask you, have you had these vaccinations? No, I don't think so. Um, I have not had the, um, the pneumococcal vaccine. Okay. Um, and I haven't had my flu shot this year. I keep forgetting to go for it. I was going to go to the clinic the other day, but um, um, I think that uh, pharmacies can give it now. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we can. And uh, so if you like, I can give you, uh, uh, administer a, a flu shot to you at the end of sure. this appointment. Does that, that work? Would be great. That way you can mm -hmm. have it done. Okay. And the other thing I'd like to do uh, is send a recommendation to your physician, um, just letting her know that I think it would be a good idea for you to get the pneumococcal vaccine. Uh, in addition to being recommended to all adults over the age of 65, um, the COPD guidelines also recommend that uh, all mm -hmm. patients should have it at least once. So you would be a very good candidate for that. May I send that recommendation? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Please do. Yeah, and I see that uh, you have a new medication which has been prescribed mm -hmm. for you, and we've uh, got it ready for you. It's called Residronate, mm -hmm. 150 milligrams, and you take it once a month. Um, what did the doctor tell you about it? Well, all that she said was that it was for my osteoporosis and that I should not lie down right after I take it. Okay, that's good. Did she um, mention anything about uh, calcium or vitamin D, either through you know diet uh, mm -hmm. or supplementation? No, not really. Um, but I, I already take vitamin C. Isn't that a form of calcium? Actually, uh, vitamin C is ascorbic acid, oh. and calcium is, is something mm -hmm. different. And uh, ideally, it would be great if you could get it, you know, the proper amount through diet. So I just wanted to take a minute and talk about dietary uh, intake of calcium. Okay, Cynthia, and I think that covers it all. And um, so what I'd like to do is send a report to your doctor's office outlining, uh, you know, mm -hmm. the changes and the discussions we've had today. Uh, so I'd like to confirm the dose increase for your hydrochlorothiazide from half a tablet to a full tablet. Make that recommendation about the pneumococcal vaccine as we discussed. And also let her know uh, that uh, you're going to have the flu shot administered today. About the vitamin uh, D supplementation and calcium, I'm going to recommend as we discussed, only the vitamin D, a thousand units a day. Your calcium intake through your diet is, is more than adequate, so, so I'll just let her know that Great. as well, okay? So I'll send that off, and uh, when I hear back from her, then I'll update your meds check. We'll incorporate all those changes that, that we've discussed, and I'll add the vitamin D3, mm -hmm. and, um, and then you can pick it up at your convenience. How does that sound? Sounds great, Iris, and thanks so much. Um, it's great to get all this sort of straightened around and everybody on the same page. Right, good. And uh, so I always like to remind everybody when you do pick up that meds check, please make a copy and put it in your purse okay. or your wallet just to have in that event that you need it in an emergency. And while I've got you here, I also wanted to, to give you this brochure. It uh, outlines some of the other services um, that we have at this pharmacy. And uh, you know, it talks about we have diabetes care and management, we have travel health consultations, women's health, uh, and uh, of course the quit smoking that I mentioned and then the asthma and COPD consultations. And you know, when I think of it, I, I really think you would benefit a lot mm -hmm. from the COPD consult. So I'll leave that with you. The brochure outlines uh, in detail, uh, you know, the description of the consultation and the costs associated with that. So have a look and uh, we'll see if, if that's something we can do in the future for you. Okay. Well, thanks very much, Iris. It's uh, been great. I had no idea that your pharmacy offered so many services. Great. Good. And I guess, you know what, maybe it is time that I book an appointment for that smoking program. Cynthia, I am very proud of you for taking this next step. I think, uh, as we said, it's the greatest single intervention mm -hmm. that you can mm -hmm. do to improve your health. Okay. So we'll get Jane to book that appointment sure. for you, and uh, and she'll show you the uh, the different blood pressure monitors. I've got a note of that. And But in the meantime, let's get your, your flu shot done, okay? All right. A recap of part two showed Iris maximizing the benefits of the MedsCheck follow-up program for Cynthia by suggesting she get an annual flu shot as well as a pneumococcal vaccine based on her COPD. 
In addition, Iris suggested other pharmacy services offered at her pharmacy from which she could benefit. Iris demonstrated some effective communication skills during her MedsCheck follow-up session. She was very encouraging of the patient, used both open-ended and closed-ended questions, summarized the important points and next steps to the patient at the completion of the session, reinforced the importance of keeping a copy of the MedsCheck list in her purse, and getting consent from Cynthia for sending the recommendations to her physician. Please go to part three for the continuation of this scenario.